All right. So that didn't go as planned. Went to climb up on the trailer, holding on to the edge of the metal, and sliced my hand a good one across three fingers. No need to show you that. But it definitely made the rest of the day a little stressful. Uh, Band-aids wouldn't really do much. Probably should get some kind of glue on it. So I'll do that when I get home. But you can see I got the sides all attached. I put a couple little pieces in to help hold it into place. Uh, hold it together there until I get the, the sheathing on. Uh, and there's a spot I can connect it from the top, but I got to bring my ladders over. So this is where we stand at this point. Uh, we are, I'm going to say six days in. We got the whole trailer bed taken care of. When I say six days, I get from five o'clock at night till nine maybe to work on this thing. Uh, otherwise, I'm my kids and they're not very entertained with being out on a farm with basically nothing around us. But uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, show you how we put a 74 inch hole 36 by 74 we're going to put two 36 inch windows in here uh, and then I'm just going to put my spacer in between the two in the center and then any extra space I have will close it off on this side closest to the front because I'd rather have the extra space uh, in that area so I can put our our menu board maybe, or something in that sense. I'd like to have back here the area that has the name, company name on it. So, I'm happy with where we're at, minus the hand. Uh, you can see back here, these are the areas that give you fits, I'm trying to get it together. Uh, I have to get in here and really have to take this board this here piece off I couldn't really fasten it as well as I'd like to both of them on the back side we'll do that tomorrow pull those off and get started attaching this really squaring it up and finishing it off but until then I'll go home get to the drawing board now you may ask why are we closing it off I don't have the roof done and I had that uh, that area to work well we still have a nine foot area back here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to build this in a 10 foot piece a seven foot piece and another 10 foot piece uh seven foot whatever to make sure we're out past the back end here and the reason i want to do that is i want to have it solid going across this back edge here and then stick over actually come over the back. So anyhow, we'll be able to lift those pieces up, three pieces, uh, it won't be a big deal. But I'm pretty excited. And again, people say that these metal studs cost extra. So much more expense. See, I needed no labor to help me put this together. I literally picked these pieces up myself in 10 foot pieces nothing longer than 10 foot, mounded them, grabbed the next one, and did the same thing. Now we're gonna bolt these down. I have some uh, carriage bolts. We're gonna bolt this all the way down with some nice big washers, just to you know, help secure it down. Right now I have it screwed in, and that just helped me place it. Uh, but now that it is placed across the bottom, we can bolted in. But that's a nice little project I can have my seven-year-old son or ten-year-old daughter help out with. I can drill the holes and they can bolt them in. So, okay, well I'm gonna leave it at this. Head home. It's Father's Day. If I don't soon get home, my wife's gonna shoot me. So, 
Time to go hang out with the family a little bit. And we'll come back and continue working on our dream.